redo this sum. The difference between the two sums we did and this sum is we must put e equal to 0 to solve. Okay. So the previous sum did not have a number there. It started with x prime or it's called 1x prime. Now we got a number in front uh, thing. So first we will do the factorization method. Generally to solve or find the root, the method prefers factorization. If you can't factorize only, you have to go to formula method. Either you can't factorize or you can't split the numbers. Then you must go to formula method. Now, I told you, you must put a V like this. This is also called splitting the middle term. Splitting the middle term. The middle term is actually minus 3. I told you, you must multiply these two numbers. These two numbers you must multiply. So 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. So middle term you must put here. That's why it's called the splitting the middle term method. Splitting middle term. So put the middle term here. Now I told you, you must hide this number. And tell me what two numbers will give you 4. Okay? Two twos are 4. When you add, you get 4. When you subtract, you get 0. So you must find the factors. Multiplication factors. Two twos are 4. When you add and see, you must check whether this number is coming. So 4 and 0 is not coming. Next, you must go to other factors of 4. The next factor of 4 is, the first one is actually 2 into 2 equal to 4. After finding a factor, you add and see, you subtract and see, don't put any signs, just add and see, both are not coming here. The next factor is 4 1 sub 4. These two are called factors of 4, that's why it's called factorization method. So now 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 minus 1 is 3. After finding the factors, you add and see, subtract and see. Now this number is standing. So don't put any signs. Just put 4 and 1. Okay. So you do it in the rough work and get the correct factors. And then to put the sign, hide this number. So we want minus 3. So you put minus 4 and plus 3. You can check it. Minus 4 plus 3 is Plus 1 is minus 3. After this, you must check three concepts. One is minus 4 plus 1 is actually what? Minus 3. And number 1. 4 1s of 4 is what? 4. Just check the numbers alone. 2. Last one is plus into minus is minus. All three combinations should be satisfied. If one of them is not satisfied, you must change the combination. Now, what will happen to here? 4x square, you must split the middle term. Seeing this, you get minus 4x plus 1x, or you can put the x itself and minus 1 equal to 0. We did not change any of the sum. See, the 4x square is here, this minus 1 is there, the middle term splits, and that's all. That's why it's called the splitting of the middle term. And then next, you must group. You must group these terms. It's called grouping of terms, two to terms. In the first two terms, 4 is also common, x is also common. Previous sum, what you did was only x was common. Here the number is also common. And you will see here again. After taking the common number, you will see here. 4x has come out, only x will go inside. Minus full 4x, you must put 1. If you want, you can check and see. 4x into x is what? 4x by 4x into 1 is what? 4x. We did not change the sum. So this is how you have to take the factors out. Next, in these two numbers, 1, you put the plus, okay? You put the plus, 1 is common and start a bracket. So what do you get? x minus 1 equal to 0. What you get here, you will get here, but don't put blindly. It is better to learn and understand and do it 
Many say what you get here, put there, that color is not the way of doing. You do it, it will come. You can also check it. 1 into x is 1, plus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. So this is called grouping of terms and taking out a common number. So now look here again. Now x minus 1 is common to both. So take the x minus 1 and start under the bracket. You see here again. So there are two terms, 4x into x minus 1 x minus 1 has come out, this has come out, so 4x will go there, plus, put the plus properly, so plus, again look here, we got 1 into x minus 1, x minus 1 has come out, equal to 1, equal to 0, so this is called factorization, if equal to 0 is not there, it's called factorization of this number, okay, but equal to 0 is to solve it. Now what happens? When two number equal to 0, I told you, either x minus 1 should be 0 or 4x plus 1 equal to 0. When two numbers are multiplying and right hand side if you want to get 0, this must be 0 because 0 into something is 0 or this must be 0, 0 into something is 0. So you get x is equal to 1. Here you get 4x equal to take the 1 that side, you get minus 1. The x is equal to 1 or the x is equal to minus 1 by 4. Formula method 4x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. We are doing the formula method. Formula method is done. When the terms are very term cannot be split or very hard to split. Sometimes you you can't split the middle term itself. Then you must go to formula, you get point answers and decimal answers or fractions. But these kind of sums if you got the answer, you can do the formula method, it will come a little later. It takes some time to come. 4x square minus 3x minus 1. Okay. This is the as ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. In the formula method, you must write the quadratic form. a is called the coefficient of x square. So, right here, a is equal to 4. Next, b is actually minus 3. Don't write 3. With the sign, you must write b is minus 3 and c is called the constant, c is equal to minus 1. So write the quadratic format in the formula method, get the coefficient of x square called a, coefficient of x called b with the sign and constant with the sign. Now you must write the formula. The formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is called the formula. Now we have to substitute this. So x is equal to, see this minus in the formula, minus and b is actually minus 3. This minus in the formula, this minus in the sum. So write minus of minus 3. The sum minus b square means it is put minus 3 the whole square minus 4 into a is actually 4 and c is actually minus 1 by 2 into a is actually 4. This is called substitution step. Substitution step. Substituting the values of a and b, this is called the formula. Formula. Okay. And try to use brackets like this. So wherever a comes, you put 4 in the formula, b is minus 3 and c is minus 1. Next is x equal to k minus into minus is nothing but 3 plus or minus minus square is plus 3 square is 9. Don't put minus 9. See minus if you square it become plus that is understood and 3 square is 9. The square belongs to both minus and 3 and that will first you must multiply the sign minus into minus is what plus 4 4 sir 16 16 1 sir 16 by 2 4 sir 8 this is equal to 
3 plus sub minus 9 plus 16 is nothing but 25 and 8 you put in the middle because 8 belongs to both this is equal to 3 plus some minus 25 means 5 will come out by h ok this 5 is here as well right. now This is called simplification step. The last one is you get the x is equal to 3 plus 5 by 8 or x is equal to 3 minus 5 by 8. So 3 plus 5 is actually uh, 8 by 8. The x is equal to 1. Get the answer x is equal to 1, 1 answer. Or x is equal to 3 minus 5 is minus 2 by 8, which is minus 1 by 4. So this is called answer step. This is called answer step. So first one is formulae, sixth one is substitution, simplification, answer step. So you get the answer x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1 by 4. These two are called solution sets. So, solution set is 1 comma minus 1 by 4. These are also called value separates. So, this is actually the formula method of the sum. Where you write the formula, substitute the values, simplify and get the answer. But that method you can do it faster. But formula method is more foolproof. In the sense, if you don't get these apart, rational values. Irrational value comes means decimals and all comes means this method is only you can do it. You can't do the factorization. That models you do afterwards. First we are doing sums where you get the answer. Plus one minus one these are called rational numbers where you get the answers. Now we will do the third method called completion of square method. I told you the third method is slightly harder, especially when number comes in front like this, it is still more harder. But the completion of square method is done only when they ask solve or find the roots or find the value using completion of square method. So when number comes in front, it is still more hard. It has got a minus there. So, you write the formula a minus b the whole square, it is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay. Right. a square and b square will be plus, this is minus 2ab. a square means square of the first number. And 2ab is nothing but 2 into first number into second number, and minus thing is put in front, and b square is square of the second number. Because of this minus, we are using this formula. So, we will continue with it. It takes uh, little fractions will come. Now, what you do is the sum should start with x squared. It's an easy method. Divide by 4. Because it, since it starts with x, it will be easy. When you divide by 4, you get actually x squared. 4, 4 gets. And everything you must divide. So, you get minus 3 x by 4 and when you divide by 4 you get minus 1 by 4 remember even the right hand side should be divided then only it will be balanced 0 by 4 is nothing but 0 since 0 comes we escape otherwise some numbers put there means it's a problem so divide everything by 4 to get to 1 here then you can write it easily so you have to divide by 4 already fraction started so is little what needs that patience and so you have to do it. Now what you do is you take this to that side. So you get the x square minus 3x by 4 is equal to 1 by 4. So this will actually become 
0 plus 1 by 4, which is 1 by 4. Now, this step is very important. You must write this as x put the minus question mark the whole square. So, the first is a square. Okay, this is called a and the question mark is called b. So, now look here. 2 into x into question mark. 2 into x into question mark stands for this term. So this is called a square. This is called 2ab. The minus you have put already. 2 into x into question mark is nothing but 3x by 4. Okay. Now this question mark is equal to 3x by 4. This 2x will go and divide. And this put 1 by 2x x and x will get cancelled. You get question mark is equal to 3 by 8. Okay, so again I repeat 2 into a into b. 2ab. This is called 2ab. And the 2ab term is nothing but 3x by 4. This is actually the 2ab term. Okay, this is actually the 2ab term. So 2 into x into question mark to that one. So 2x you take that side, it will go down. And x will get cancelled with 3 by 8. So now you must put here 3 by 8. So I write this neatly. So here you must put 3 by 8. Okay. So 3 by 8. Now look here. When you expand this, you get 3 terms. The first term is called a square. This a square is here. The second term is called minus 2ab. The minus 2ab look here. Minus is there already. 2 into, this is called a. This is called b. Look here. 2 into x into 3 by h. 2 goes in this how many times? 4 times. So you get 3x by 4. The second term is also there. Okay. Second term is also there. So, a square is there minus what is missing is plus b square. There is no plus b square. When you expand, you get three terms, there are only two terms. The third term, you put a minus always, and this b square is missing. So, that you have to compensate and put 1 by 4. In fact, this step is only a little important and complicated. This step is very important. A compensation method is called actually compensation method. Okay, this is a minus b the whole square when you expand the b squared the plus b squared is not there. We put as this as minus b squared. This step is very important step. Important and uh, this when you practice it will come. So now you get x minus 3 by 8 the whole square minus 3 squared is 9 by 64 equal to 1 by 4. Take the 9 by 64 that side. You get x minus 3 by x whole square is 1 by 4 plus 9 by 64. So the LCM is nothing but 64. The LCM is nothing but 64. Here if you multiply by the LCM, 4 goes actually into 64. The LCM is 64. So, this LCM will go there. You get 64. The 4 goes 16 times. You get 16 plus 9, which is 25 by 64. Just take the LCM and add the fractions. So, x minus 3 by 8, x minus 3 by 8 the whole square is 25 by 64. Now to remove the square, you must take square root both sides, right? Take square root both sides. Anything in the equation, you must do both sides. I continue here. So now look here, 
you have to take square root of both sides. So, we we'll take the square root here, it will become x. Like x minus 3 by 8 the whole square root of 2, 25 by 64. We we'll take this in this one, the sum minus for square root. Okay. So, squaring is different, square root is different. So now look here, now what will happen is the square and the square root of x cancel. So you get x minus 3 by 8 equal to the sum minus 25 means 5 come out. Remember, 5 square is 25, 5 into 5. 8 into 8 is what? 64. 1 8 will come out and it's called the sum minus. So now we get x minus 3 by 8 equal to plus or minus 5 by 8 because the square root and square cancels. So 25, 5 will come out, 64, 8 will come out. Whenever there is a square root, you get plus or minus. Now in the split it to you write x minus 3 by 8. One minute. You write x minus 3 by 8 equal to plus 5 by 8. This side you write x minus 3 by 8 is minus 5 by 8. This is called plus or minus. Take the 3 by 8 this side. So you get x is equal to x is equal to 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8. So x is equal to 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8. This 3 by 8 comes this side. When you take the LCM, you get 8 as the LCM, you get 5 plus 3, which is 8 by 8. And remember 8 by 8 is 1. So one answer you get x is equal to 1. Coming to the other side, take this again this side. So you get the x is equal to minus 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8 x is equal to the LCM is 8 you get minus 5 plus 3 which is minus 2 by 8 it is nothing but minus 1 by 4 so one more answer is x is equal to minus 1 by 4 now you get solution set 1 comma minus 1 by 4 this is also called roots or values roots are values so these are the three methods we did it. Of course, there's some graphic method at all, which is used in a graph sheet. So hope you have got this idea when numbers comes in front. We'll try one more sum where a number comes in front.